So the girls found a little bear. And it's alive! Yeah, he's, so he is learning to fly. Thanks God the girls find him because I have two that we love to have him, isn't it? <laughs> and the mother is there, so we will try to give the mother back the little one. And in the meantime, I want to show how pretty he is or she, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Like he's so he looks so peaceful and with nice style as well. Yeah. <laughs> There, Melia. A little sheep. A little sheep. Does she speak? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bleats. <laughs> she bleats. That's how she yeah. speaks. And that's, and that's mummy there as well. Is she so cute? You're holding her tightly. Yeah. She's heavy. She's heavy. I think you're struggling. You're gonna put her down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are here in in this house. So it was a storm yesterday, and yeah, took the roof. Provisional, they put uh, this material uh, is waterproof to put. So as you see, the whole roof. Then was having lunch here. Is what the lady says. And suddenly the storm arrived and moved, and then had to run into that room and try to be safe there because it was crazy the the power of that um store including in our property one tree full down hello love so yeah, if you love. can explain please to us ah uh, yeah yeah so this, this is in the rural part of bolivia in one of the villages and one of the communities actually we help other families here so this family they do host a, a, a church meeting in the week like a cell group here and so they into people that we know, into one of the churches we support here. And there, yeah, this big storm happened and basically blew the roof off. You can see this. You can see the roof out here. It went woof, right all the way over. Includes the next door, next room. Sorry, here in this area as well. The whole yeah, uh, right. roof is out as well. So we're, we're advising them how we can fix it, but also how we can make it so it doesn't blow off again. So obviously, you don't. Want so as you to, see, that's the next room. You don't want it to blow off. Again, so yeah, of course. Hopefully, we'll find a solution and we'll get a team of Christians, local Christians, to come and help put the roof back on. So, I will show it in this moment. This is the next room. So, yeah. <laughs> Barraca now, it, well, it's in the carpenter to... Like carpet, it's like a uh -huh. wood yard. Like yeah, yard. exactly. They call it barraca. Yeah, because... Um, we're looking for wood to, to try to fix this roof for this family. Yeah. So we, we're actually giving them a better roof than what they had before. What they had before would get eaten by termites. 
in like one year if termites attack. Yeah. So what we're putting on is a harder wood. It's not much more expensive, but it just makes a big difference, you know. So, uh, so that's what we're looking for. Hopefully we'll find, find enough wood. This is the, the other house that happened the same problem. Is um, the roof was blown away by the uh, storm that was yesterday. So now I say it's measuring because yeah, we need to buy. This is another house that was affected as well by the storm. And oh, there, you can see the light coming through. This this house actually is. Just a little bit better than the other one. They've got yeah. a bit of mud and straw in the ceiling yeah. to help with yeah. insulation, but it doesn't help in general with lots of things. Insects the water wing, yeah. You can see exactly how people live in here. Yeah. Very so, basic. Okay, yeah. So. Because I need to go out uh, and you see there as well the hole, but obviously they, they don't have the window as well. And yeah. You want to. You want me to pass my telephone? It's filming right now, love. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. How many? This is a sombrero. Keeps the sun off. We're up in the rural area, a place near, near near the center, not far from the center. I'm putting a roof on this place behind me. Got blown off with the weather. We're doing a really good job, making it better than it was before. So I can't get blown off again. Uh, helping out this community today. This is our mission. Come around and see what we're doing. Uh, this is bags of lentils. We buy a nice of dried food. We don't buy too many beans, but we try to buy food that doesn't go off and doesn't get problems with insects and, and so on. We've got oil, we've got rice, we've got pasta. Um, we're also going to be buying sanitary supplies like washing up liquid and things like that are really like helpful for people. I mean, El Dorno. Uh, local town. You see people sell stuff. People sell stuff in wheelbarrows. Uh, people move up things around in wheelbarrows here. Yeah, this is a shop I normally come to. So a lady who always helps us out by putting things in kilo bags. And so yeah, thanks so much for your donation because this is helping us to buy all of these supplies. <laughs> Anne is complaining that she looks awful. <laughs> well, I look awful. Look, I'm covered in sweat and. This is one of my dirty work t-shirts. Uh, I've been helping a family put a roof up uh, today. Uh, got blown off by a storm, they didn't have a roof, so we, we helped fix that for them, helped buy some of the parts of the roof. And today I was helping, helping with another chap, a uh, local chap who's also a missionary actually from America, although he's retired now, I think, but he still helps. And so we were helping this family together. Uh, it was really good, but uh, yeah, but this video is what's about me more. <laughs> okay, I won't go too close to you. She's been working very hard today. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. We we just thought we'd film some of what we do when we when we come back from uh, a, a trip into town to get supplies. So I'll hand the camera over to you, honey. There you go. Yeah. So, <coughs> so we want to show you. Yeah. Ooh. This is some of what we've got. We've got supplies here in the car. Uh, for about. 20 to 30 families. Um, so we give sanitary stuff out. We give out toilet paper. Uh, in a box in the back, we've got washing up liquid. Uh -huh. We've got oil, we've got pasta, we've got rice in here. We've got, uh, well, that's actually a gift from the shop that we buy stuff from. But we've got lentils. This is full of bags of lentils, all, all divided into kilo Amazing. portions. And then over here we've got uh, a drink called Appy, which is made from purple maize, which has got lots of antioxidants in it. And people make that into a drink. It's really nutritious. For breakfast especially, huh? Yeah, and so they, they, they make it into a drink. And then what we add to this, we add fresh vegetables. We don't obviously buy them in bulk and store them. We buy them the day that we go or the day before. We add things like onions and potatoes and carrots, hard vegetables that tend to store well, not going to go off the same day. And uh, it's going to help between 20 and 30 families in poor communities, um, give them a real leg up, a real blessing and uh, open the door for us when we are uh, building relationships and sharing the love of God.
Hey there, so you might be wondering, what happened to all the videos of the training for the 100 kilometer run? <laughs> well, the whole family got ill, not because of the training, but we all got a virus, possibly it was coronavirus, but it took us a little while to fight back and we still got a bit of a cough, but we're over the most of it and we're back on the training. As you can see, I'm dripping, I'm like a shower, I'm sweating so much. Um, I am walking up and down uh, a really steep hill behind the center and I'm planting mango trees. Mango trees is part of our sustainability and uh, in the future these are going to produce super large delicious mangoes for all the kids in the center plus we can make jam plus we can dry it and sell it to help our sustainability in the future ongoing we want to be able to fund ourselves but we need your help we need your help to get the windows and doors on as you can see behind me uh, some of the the windows and doors you can see there we need windows and doors you might notice that we've got window frames in. That's a, a, an update since the last time we did a video. But you will be seeing more training videos very, very soon. And the 100 kilometer run is going ahead. Uh, so don't have any doubt. We are going to show you how much this means to us and how hard we're willing to work to raise the money to get the doors and windows and the walls all the way to the top of the roof at this center so we can help lots of people. So here we had a problem. Uh, we had water coming up under the floor, well, from under the floor, this is a concrete floor. Um, on top of this, underneath the concrete floor, there's, uh, there's bricks underneath this, but we had a leak coming up and uh, we finally we investigated it and the pipe was leaking. Uh, several holes, it was like somebody had cut the pipe in a weird place. Maybe it was a problem with, with manufacturer, but uh, anyway, we had to cut the tube and then put this, I don't know if you can see that, we have to put a thread on it which is really difficult in such an awkward space. Um, and I put the thread on further down here, which is much better, but then I discovered up the pipe in the same place, there's a crack going all the way up till about there. So I had to cut all the way. It's been a real difficult job, but uh, this is a new bit of pipe that's gonna go on. And hopefully it's gonna fit. These are some of the issues we have, the different differences in plumbing and different types of tube. This tube we can't glue, we have to use thread, uh, but it's flexible, so it should have been one long tube from outside all the way to the point inside where it comes out, and now we've had to cut it and fix it. So we're praying we don't have any more leaks. We're gonna test all the other pipes before we put tiles down, but I just want to give you guys a little update. We've got now tiles for this whole area. They're arriving on Friday. It was something we, hadn't planned on buying quite so soon but the problem is we've got um, price increases in Bolivia because of the dollar. Bolivia is going through a bit of an economic problem at the moment with the dollar and it has no dollars basically and the buying power has gone down and everything's going up in price and uh, glass is already expensive here and they manufacture glass here we didn't think that was going to go up in price so we've bought all the tiles now for this for this room so our fundraising is going to get real in about a week's time. <laughs> Watch out for that, because we're going to be uh, putting real specific details up online for what, what is going to help us achieve. But yeah, that's a, that's a little part of my day here. Uh, your prayers for no more problems with plumbing would be really appreciated. And, uh, and God bless you all. Speak to you soon. Dios te bendiga. 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 Dios te Lots of families, lots of neighbours. We're still meeting new people that we haven't met before. Um, today we've got we've got Jacob with us, and uh, and how we're just about to meet somebody else we've not met before. Should we go over that side? Yeah. So this is a the new house we've never been to. It's on another side of the river, uh, to the place we normally go to. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and say hello. In one of the houses making me show, 
and it's amazing to see how they cook the food. Did you see? Aha, uh -huh. muy bien. And is she's explaining that she have a potato and she have a, is that a beans, black beans inside, and they already gave me one maize as well to eat and like <laughs> yeah. <laughs>